Last game every single time. Every single time. Devin, we're in it for the long haul, according <laughs> to Switch Rider. Two, one, go! But I'm always down because that means there's some more Smash Bros. left to be played, and especially against these two age-old enemies. I mean... I mean, I'm always down for more games. Yeah, and already we're seeing the mistakes starting off here. That Reflector trying again to guess out that laser, that gyro. Vaughn's got to put break on that. Cover something a little more clean. And, and Swiss, that might just be the stock, but unlike game one, Vaughn not going to get caught by those high gyro tosses for the pressure. Or coming in though she still hasn't been able to find a hit gets the one very tricky start off but now has is has you in the corner she doesn't have the room to find those horizontal combos and so dill is gonna get out of it kind of scot-free yeah and the rage art is online what are we gonna see here i think we're gonna see a hug but instead we're just gonna be seeing the blast so kazuya dying in a great ball of fire just like his father keihachi dill that's uh, a deep cut <laughs> Dill, uh, Dill trying to make it, make it keep going. All right, just, what do we see here? Trying to prove you wrong fast. Wes. Oh no, Dill heard me talking shit. And what are we gonna see here? Electric fist coming out. Bond getting more consistent with those set by sets. Yeah, but consistency only matters when you actually find the hit. And the electrics are coming out consistently, oh, but the they hits their aren't. And Dill has just been able to keep Kazuya's feet off the ground, rack you to kill percent and then push you off stage and there's nothing left for Fawn to do. Yeah, Dill isn't letting Fawn even get in. Hold they on, know that the just score. might be it. That forward air, if that had connected, Switch would have comboed in a gyro, would have been the game. Ain't gone. Fawn has to be incredibly careful here. And I'm gonna be honest, Swiss. Yeah. Unless something changes fast, I don't think we're seeing the Kazuya game too. Fawn, please, I bet my entire life savings on you. <laughs> you, you gotta win. You have gotta savings? win for my family. I ha okay. All right, listen, $5 is nothing to sneeze at. That's a $5 deal at Wendy's. You're right, that's what it cost me to enter bracket, and I still can't, and just like you can't, that was a JV3 stop. Dill, you were, you were, you, you decided the JV2 wasn't decisive. How's JV3 for a dominant game one, Swiss? I mean, tragedies come in threes. So what do we, <laughs> my bank accounts. <laughs> Your, All right, your we're going duck hunt. My five dollar bank account. All right, we're going to the, back to the tried and true duck hunt. It's okay. They can. St my theory will still hold up if they still win with duck hunt dog. Just uh, you know, I'll take half my winnings. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take two fifty. All right, so we're seeing a much different game plan here. Very aggressive. Until obviously still playing very defensively, wanting to bait these out. The neutral air is getting the can out of the way. And this is going to be tougher for Bill. It's a match they played before, but so has Vaughn. Yeah, I was going to say, I think nobody in the world knows the Rob Duck Hunt matchup better than these two players in front of us. And Fawn going to try and use that, going to try and exploit the fact that of the two of them, though, she's the only one who plays both these characters to her advantage, find the tricks, find the traps, and the up till already finding more hits than she did almost the entirety of game one. Hunt. The pressure is mounting here, and I I honestly think if Dill takes the first stop, Fawn might not be able to come back, but she's going to have to try, because Dill finding the hit off the can, she's just not stopping. Yeah, no, this is a killing machine and nothing can stop it. Dill already so dominant here. Fawn maybe losing a bit of that steam. Never mind bringing it to second stock. So as I appreciate that every time you and I try to comment on the pace of the game at all, they're just like, hold that. You're welcome. Fawn, their beautiful positioning, controlling the edges of that platform, forcing Dill into the corner, right? She gets out of the juggle situation, but still is in a corner situation, still in disadvantage. It, but the roll through, gonna find the reversal, and Fawn getting a little over aggressive, gonna lose her stock for her trouble, potentially her final one of bracket. She needs to make something happen. Duck Hunt's not a character we're used to seeing take explosive stocks, but Fawn needs to find something in fast. That, I think that would be the mistake, is trying to take that explosive stock, going in, panicking. You have five minutes left. On one Use hand, every single I second. I agree with you. On the other hand, I think very few people in the world have played more hours of Rob on defense than Dill has. Mm -hmm. And 
So I think trying to play the long game when you're down a full stock against Dill is asking for her to find an explosive opening against you. I think you have to find a way to take this stock and then go from there. But at 68%, you still have work left to do to get to that point in the first place. Now, Fawn did have control of the gyro. Gyro is gone, but, you know, always in play there. Unless... Wow, she catches the gyro to control space, but gonna SDI out of the up air. Still no. taking away Fawn's option to kill, and with it, Fawn's hopes at staying in the tournament. And Dill gonna move on. Fawn out at third. My Dollarino. Spider fans in shambles. <laughs> How you doing right now, my friend? Uh, I'm gonna go hungry tonight. No, I don't get to have a Coley Cow Burger. Do you have do I have a butcher's cleaver? I do, but then I gotta find a cow. You you just have my arm, man. Yeah, I'll I think I can work with this. <laughs> <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> so it's why are we both so